Yeah, hi, I'm Richard Bunny. Um, we're here to qualify, hopefully, for the final for the British Open on Sunday. And uh, yeah, it's first thing in the morning, and um, we're now going to get ready. Um, we're on at 11 o'clock, so we'll be, get the gear ready. Um, probably have a go on the pool shoot, and then um, have a warm up, and we're ready then for 11 o'clock start. So um, fingers crossed, uh, it all goes well. Uh, most things are in my bag before I even start when I get to a shoot, so I don't forget them, so they're always in the car. Um, and normally, my faithful hat, just in case it's sunny, but it looks like it's going to be overcast, so, but I'll still wear it anyway. Um, SWAT company defenders. Um, I have got moulded ones, but I prefer to use these. Um, just that when you're not actually shooting on the stand, um, you, you just switch them on and you can hear a conversation with people. You don't get no damage. Because um, even when you stand back from the stand, it's still very noisy and you have a tendency um, to break the microphones on and just pull them back and you get all that uh, noise coming in, so, which is damaging. So now just switch them on. They're brilliant, actually. So that's all I use now. Uh, and then shooting glasses, uh, my Ranger. Uh, used them for years. Um, I'm lucky enough to be sponsored by them, have been for several years, but um, I was actually using them before I was sponsored. So, value for money, they've always been good, and I've, I've, I've stuck with those. Um, and I've got three different lenses in there, but on a day like this, I just stick to a, probably an orange lens, uh, unless you get one in the sun and it breaks out. Um, but normally, I stick to one lens and use it all day. Um, and I will change if it's if it's very overcast. I may go to a yellow lens. Um, just it just lightens everything up, and it's a little bit clearer. So I'm generally orange as well. Cartridges. Generally, I use seven or seven and a halves, and um, I un keep things uncomplicated. Um, and I just think that's one less thing to think of. So um, today, actually, I'm on all sevens. I have got some six and a half, so I'll take a box of those with me just in case maybe an extreme rabbit or something, but generally sevens um, for today. And my old faithful Beretta DT11, probably three or four years now with this one. And um, it's done me proud, I've won several competitions with it. And uh, yeah, I mean, marvellous gun, reliable, and uh, I love it a bit, so yeah, good workhorse. It doesn't let me down. Um, it's been brilliant over the years. Uh, and that is basically all my gear. The only other thing I take with me, a waterproof jacket, just in case. You never know, because um, the forecast is showery. So, and a bottle of water. I don't have any of the energy drinks. Um, I just have a bottle of water and maybe some sweets in the bag. And, and that is really all I take. And um, if it's a long course, I may take a stool. Because you never know if you get a break down or it's a wet day. Uh, you've got somewhere to sit down if there's no benches around. I need to have a break. And that is all I need, really. That's all my gear. If you've got your head switched on and you're focused, that's all you really need. Um, and that, that is my um, plan for the day. Go around and qualify and uh, see what today brings. Fingers crossed. And uh, Mr. Bunny, ready. Thank you. Cool. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thanks very much. Good morning, welcome to Churchill for the British Open. I'm looking for... Always helps to get off to a good start. <laughs>
Pull. There you go. So that's, that's stand two. Um, not not too hard, but um, left to right cross the other and a quarter of the way. Um, but even so, there's no such thing as an easy clap play shoot. They're all difficult. And being, being the British uh, is a bit more pressure, so they're all hard. So anyway, good stand. It's in the fresh air, not in the tree. It's not in the tree. I'm just going to do the best to shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> the other bit is a bonus. Thing. What I'm trying to say is, if I can't see them broke, they're a loss. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Shot stand four. Um, it was actually a Simo pair. It was quite a tricky pair. Um, you could see the bellies of them, but they were going into the tree, so I had a tendency to make you stop the gun. Uh, so I came off the other seven. So, um, I mean, it was, obviously eight was available, but I'd have took seven. Seven was all right on there, so I'm happy with that. So that's what I mean, stand four. So, uh, so far so good, and it's, it's just a good start really. I mean, anyone who's shooting well, uh, if you're only one down at a major, uh, you'll take it. I'm sure they'd all take it. Yeah, so all in all good. These are good friends of mine, um, Mike Jennings, who I travel abroad with. Um, we've been all around the world shooting for holidays and, and various things. He travels well, but his knees are bad. Um, but he's just had a new knee, so hopefully next year. Um, he'll be away, he'll be away, he'll be able to get through the airports all right. And Talia, um, she's been shooting a couple of years, um, but she's away at school at the moment, so um, time is difficult, but she's, she's coming on well and she loves the sport. Uh, so hopefully um, in years to come, uh, she'll keep improving and, and be there, be at the championships. Um, and then probably next year, when we go to America, maybe for the world championships, uh, she'll come over there and shoot there, get the experience. Um, yeah, she loves it, so all good. Plus, they carry my bag sometimes. But, uh, they've got uses. Oh! 
back, Charlie. Beautiful. Whew. So I've just shot stand five. Um, left to right on the port, right to left. Low orange ones along the bank. Uh, again, not, not really hard, but they were quite fast. Uh, and, and it was just angles there. Getting your gun position correct and uh, hopefully having your timing in. So I cleared that, so that was straight eight, so that was good. Glad I'm off it. Calm down. <laughs> So we're now at stand. We're now at stand six. Um, we've got uh, we've got a rabbit claw and one coming down a bank. Um, not distance, but the angles um, are just clever. They're just awkward. They're not easy. And um, for the weather, I mean, some people may disagree, but they like the blue skies and the clear skies. Um, but this is overcast. It's dry. It's not too hot. It's the perfect conditions for days actually. Um, I think this is just this is just right. So um, most people going around here, I'm sure, will be enjoying it. Um, from what I've seen so far, yeah, everyone will be happy. Good set of clays. They're just tricky angles, um, and with the, with the green background, it just catches people out. And, and often you find with these orange clays coming down, they're a little bit faster than they look. And you can tell all those whole rabbits over there. Look. Thank you. Anyway, stand six, glad it's over. Uh, eight, so that, uh, that was brilliant score now actually. I thought that was really hard. And uh, I, I was pleased as yeah. being off the overnight. In fact, I took six or seven, still been reasonably happy. Uh, the incomer coming down the bank uh, was just tricky, like you can see everyone else is shooting. There's one or two being missed on each card, so um, yeah, all good. Thanks, ref. Uh, stand seven. Um, I just dropped one on there. And I probably should have done that. was a bit soft, so um, that, was a, that was a poor miss. But um, if that's the only one, I'll take it. But um, it, was a, it was a slip up there. Anyway, stand seven, stand eight. Stand nine, start again. All over again. Pull. 
Um, in came I caught into the tree uh, and a low orange tear going out. So um, after this one on previous stand, it's nice to get back in a rhythm and get a straight again. Uh, just calms the nerves, keeps you going. So move on, stand nine on the home straight. Stand nine, disaster. Uh, just completely misread. Um, I was behind the midi, and um, I was just behind the midi, and it rushed me for the second bird. So uh, only clear, only I got three on there. So that's five down. That's a disaster on that one. Um, but that's how they go. Never mind. All that hard work, um, and then you come to stand like that. And uh, yeah, that's a graveyard, that one for me, certainly. Fuck. Like the MIDI and the, and the standard have the same, like the same lead. Yeah, they did, yeah. I okay, normally you think MIDI cut back, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I How are you? You alright? How are you? Can we just see a pair, please? Of course you can. You alright? Yeah, you are. Yeah, fine, thanks. Yeah. Bang! <laughs> Pull! Thank you. Thanks a lot. So that's stand 10. Um, after the there's a disaster on stand 9, only hitting 3. It's nice to go back. It was a good stand, but um, I've managed to get an 8 on there, so that'll calm the nerves again and, and hopefully get back in a rhythm. Um, at the end of the day, you've just got to shoot what's there and just keep yourself calm. And uh, we keep, we keep moving on the final stand. It's 15 stands, so we just understand 10, so we're getting there now. Um, but yeah, it's never over until you're finished. And certainly that last stand, I mean, to miss all those, it's quite simple. Um, and it just shows you it's, they're all difficult. Until you hit them, they're all difficult. And we haven't had any extreme distances, but the angles, uh, and whoever set this course up knows what they're doing, because technically it's brilliant. It's a brilliant course. And um, just talking to people around the, around the course, um, all levels of shooters, any class, uh, they're all enjoying it. So I think they've set it up perfect so far. I mean, it may be different on the last five stands, but I doubt it. Um, it seems to be an excellent course. Um, and it's been, because uh, some of us have traveled all around the country. I mean, it's taken hours to get here. So um, when you get a good course and it's set well, um, it's enjoyable and you don't mind the journey then. It makes it much more enjoyable.
pull. Thank you. So, anyway, standard, uh, standard 11 we just done. So standard 11. Um, again, first bird was difficult, second one was pretty steady, just up in the air. Um, came off with a seven. Um, I'd have took a seven, but um, I'd shot the first couple of pairs lovely, right in the middle of the first bird. So um, oh, I just went above it. So it, just a, it was a mistake. So um, um, it was just a mistake. So seven on there, right? Um, it's all right. Yeah, take that. Thank you. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, don't worry about it, take the chip. Uh, so this is stand 12, um, the teal, uh, green teal going up through the trees and an incoming crow. Uh, and I missed one teal and I didn't miss a crow. So, um, I mean, you could miss a teal. It was awkward going through the trees, difficult to see. But the crow, um, you, can't, you can't give those clays away. Um, they're, they're quite simple. Um, and I was thinking about the teal and then when I missed the crow. So um, that was one away. I'd, I'd take the teal missing one of those, but the, the crow you can't afford to miss. So. Um, Never mind, move on, stand 13. Actually, looking at the last, um, <clears throat> what we got, three stands. Uh, they've got a monster tower on that hill. We need to keep plugging away, um, get as many as we can, because that certainly looks a big bird at the end. It's certainly a good bird to finish on conditions. I'll tell you what, for, for a championship ground, uh, you, you can hold them here, whatever. The world's, um, yeah, the English Open, I'm sure we're going to have more. The last thing people want is a muddy ground. They just like everything to be clean and tidy. And the paths are there, you can get, um, I mean, if you need some help, you can get, you can get a lift around the course, um, which my friend is gonna get today. They're gonna take him around, because he's, he's just had a knee operation and that, but um, the setting's perfect. Um, it's, it's lovely and tidy. It's just, yeah, really good ground. In fact, I can't wait to come back um, for another event here. So um, what they'll hold next year, I don't know. I suppose they've all got to put Put the names forward and see what championships will be held here but um i'm sure they'll hold more um, looking at this um looking at the ground um it's certainly good enough to hold a world championship in the future so um yeah it'll be good right we're now on all right Too, so um, I gave him too much lead so I, I misread the target and um, it is what it is yeah that's my fault so um, yeah move on stand 14 I tell you what by the time you finish it and you concentrate all the way around um, it is hard work it's tiring and um, I probably am starting to flag a little bit, but um, anyway, I'm right. I'll finish it off. And um, apart from a couple of stands, uh, I've shot well, basically. I mean, I missed some I shouldn't have missed, but um, overall, um, apart from one disastrous stand, stand uh, nine, so far, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm, not, I'm not 
unhappy. Um, I could have shot more, but there, uh, that's shooting for you. It's a hobby, we come here to enjoy it, so well, we will enjoy it. Um, I am enjoying it, so good squad, good friendly squad. And um, yeah, push on, two more to go. Thank you. Uh, so stand 14, um, I came off there with a 7, so I'd have took 7, but I probably missed the wrong bird to be fair. I missed the first overhead gun away. Um, came out slightly to the right of the gun, so gun position was wrong. Um, but 7, that 8 on there was hard to see the top there, so that's good. One more. So we've got a right to left Shondell by the look of it and um, by Batu, followed by a left to right crosser. Actually, it looks a lovely stand to finish on, so if people had a hard round, at least they finish on a good note on the last stand. So it looks all right and it's been an excellent course to be fair. I think everyone will um, thoroughly enjoy that. Um, there's something there for everyone, so yeah, all good. Here, come, here comes the caddy. He's late with the scorecard. It's, it's the head boot man. Yeah. Come on, head boot man. Thank Only you, one that didn't take it. Yeah. You can't get the shooters, can you? I mean, stop. Pull! Thank you. Love that done. <laughs> so um I stand fifteen and nice steady one to finish on. And uh Right to left batter and a crossing uh, midi, or maybe a standard actually, I can't remember, but um, yeah, nice. A midi, is it? Midi. Midi crossing, so um, straight at that stand, um, and we're finished, so we'll just see what we're finished on. Um, and actually, I probably let, I, I let too many slip at the end. Um, and I had one stand, what was a disaster, but I missed, um, I had, I missed two on one, then I let some one slip where they're a bit softer, so. Um, Anyway, overall, um, it's a steady round. It's an excellent round of clays, and I've shot steady, so I'm not I'm not disappointed. Um, 
and I won't be far away, I suppose. And um, yeah, we'll just tally up the scores now. Go back, recover, um, have a drink, and then we're on the sport trap after lunch. I think we're out at 3 p.m. So yeah, but it's been a lovely round. Um, the scenery, it's, it's been a brilliant set round of clays. Whoever set it, um, fair play to him, hats off. He's done a good job, and I think everyone's thoroughly going to enjoy that. So um, that's the most important thing, to be fair. You've got to get a balance for all the shooters, for all the classes, and um, they've done it. They've done a great job here, actually. Um, I might even praise Rob later, I'll see. Anyway. Thirteen away, look, stand nine, that was a disaster. So one um, seven in. And probably a couple of those were softer clays I shouldn't have missed, so um, anyway. Uh, the rest of the mistakes and misses I've made on the course, I would have been in with a good score and I'd have been more than happy with that. Yeah, it would have been yeah. very good because the first seven or eight stands, um, I think I was one down actually, maybe one down. 